Hearthstone is probably the most famous card game. It was developed by Blizzard using Unity 3D as a game engine. While playing it, applied on certain 2D elements, you can see the parallax effect. In this video, we create it. Parallax effect is used to simulate depth on 2D elements. It is a shader that, using a high map, creates displacement on the UV of a 2D object. We created a new Unity project with the low wave render pipeline as template, and in a new scene we added an image. Then we use Materialize to create the high map from our custom 2D image. In this case we needed to change the head color to white to distinguish it from the black background color. Thanks to Materialize it is possible to watch the preview of the material you are realizing in real time. We created a new PBR shader and opened it in the shader graph. Since the shader is not applied to a 3D model but to a sprite 2D, first operation was to create the shader that Unity uses to render sprites. In particular we concentrated on the surface shader. To create it we multiplied the RGB channel for the alpha channel of the texture, in this way we excluded the external part of the card. Now the standard shader and our custom shader differs by an edge that we don't want and for the lighting refraction that we want. Also Unity complained us because a main texture was missing in the shader. So we declared a reference to the texture and exposed a value to set the alpha threshold. Thanks to the reference, we selected the image directly from the sprite field of the sprite renderer, and with the alpha threshold we removed the black edge. We inserted a reference to the high map and exposed a parameter to control the amount of red channel of the image. To tone down the effect we multiplied for 0.5 and we created a vector tree parameter called scale to set the intensity to each axis. Adding the ending result of this node to the UV we obtained the displacement effect. We connected this value to the UV field of the main texture. Thanks to the scale parameter we set the UV. Inserting a high map, the movement follows the white of the map. We multiplied the scale by the view direction vector. Setting now the scales fields, we can see the image reacting to the camera movement. To end the shader we added metallic and smoothness fields. We expose a parameter to handle the mission. We set object as space in the view direction node to make it interact into its rotations. We added a bloom effect and a simple script so the card rotates following the mouse direction. This is the ending result. Don't forget to subscribe and tell us which effects you want to serialize.
see you in the next video